guys and welcome back to my channel hi um, I'm gonna finally do my IMATS haul and yes it is February you guys but I uh, my January was just like super crazy I went there not really wanting to shop a lot I didn't have like a huge list of stuff that I needed to buy and actually to be honest with you guys I didn't need to buy anything I was just I really wanted to go there just to network and meet people and just make new friends. That's pretty much my intention of it. So if I came out with nothing, I would be totally okay. Well, I'm going to start off with Friday, which I didn't go to actual IMATS. It was pro night, but I was invited to the crown brush, uh, crown brush event, which was called the crown social crown social event and which was really awesome um there was a couple of artists there one was from i'll put the names of the artists that were um speaking at the crown social but we received these um little goodie bags which is like huge and this was on that friday so i'll just go through what i received in my crown brush bag i don't know why this is still in here you guys i've just been having this stuff like on the side here's some water crown brush water you guys yeah i did get the flawless face blender and i am interested in trying this out because one of the artists that helped create this design um she said because she loves using the beauty blender but always found that when she was working on clients, the Beauty Blender only has the, you know, the one tip right here. So she wanted something that when you're blending different colored foundations, you didn't have to go grab another Beauty Blender. You always had like the two ends. So I'm interested in trying this out and letting you guys know how that goes. And then I received a pair of tweezers, which is always awesome. I then received a um, eyelash curler, which I will be giving away. I haven't even opened it. I'm going to be giving this away because I don't curl my eyelashes. I don't own an eyelash curler, and I don't curl my eyelashes, so I don't need that. And the last thing that's in my bag is we received this set of um, Infinity Brushes. Let me show you that. It has the logo right here on the front. And when you open it, this is what it looks like. Oh, it has one of those like packaging things. But this is the set of Infinity Brushes. So it's kind of in like a bulkier case for the brushes, but these are big enough where I feel like you can actually stick a couple of other brushes inside. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep this, you guys, so not sure that I'm going to keep this, so. I have so many brushes. If you guys have been watching my channel, I'm like a brush hoarder. And when a new set of brushes comes out, I'm like all about it. Anyway, so those are the items that I received from Crown Brush at, uh, for attending this Crown social event. So Saturday, I, um, I, Saturday is when I picked up majority of the items that I have I a Lime Crime bag, you guys, but I didn't get anything from Lime Crime. I'll tell you why. What happened was I did want to get a couple of things from Lime Crime. And um, by the time I got there, the two lipsticks that I really, really wanted were sold out. So I figured, eh. And they were part of the um, the Namies whole area. Yeah. What happened is you went up to that little, so you stood in line for Lime Crime. And then you went there, picked out what you wanted to get. Then they stuck your item in a bag and gave you a number. Then you had to go all the way around and stand in line for the Namies line, which if you bought anything in that whole area, you had to stand in this line to purchase your items. Now, this line was so long. I swear it went all the way through the entire convention center, like all the way. And I thought, hmm, I was just going to get one lipstick because the other lipsticks that I wanted were completely sold out. I'm not standing in this line. So I got a Lime Crime bag, but I didn't purchase anything from Lime Crime. I'm not too upset about that. I'm not, like I said, there was nothing that I needed to get and like I was dying to get. So if I came home empty handed, I was fine with that too. I actually didn't spend that much money, you'll see. Um, one thing that I definitely 
wanted on my list was Perry and Spirit. I love Perry and Spirit. I use it to wash my brushes. So I picked up another of the giant brush cleaner and it came with um, brush wipes and another of the spray bottles, which I love this to just spot clean my brushes. And then it came with um, a larger of the jar. The jar that I currently have is um, is the smaller one. So this one works really well. I was excited to get this one because this one will work really well for my larger brushes. The next place that I was um, eyeballing when I was looking through the, um, the different vendor list the night before and that week before was Veil Cosmetics. Now I about Veil and I was very curious about their concealer slash corrector items and um, I was, so I went there, it, oh, they call it light infused cosmetics. So I went to their booth and had her, you know, kind of demonstrate on me and I was pretty much sold. I'm going to do a review on these. Let me show you. I've picked up, there was like a sale, like a two for something. So I picked up the medium color, which is a three and it's just a three neutral tone. It doesn't have too much pink, doesn't have too much yellow, it's just very neutral. And then I picked up the light which is a 2N, they have like the whole spectrum, you know, if you you uh, are putting together a kit and you wanted some pink tones, some yellow tones, I pretty much just picked these neutrals. The light neutral works really well for me. I actually have been using it just to test it out. This is what it looks like. And it's just the click up little brush. Let me show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because and it's just really, it's just really light, but I don't know what it is. It's a called the Illuminating Complexion Fix for Face and Eyes. And this is amazing. I'll just do a review, you guys. I'll do a review on the whole Veil Cosmetics, but this is go to was back to Crown Brush on that Saturday. I had my wristband for, um, for going to the Crown Social, so I was able to get a bigger discount items from Crown Brush because, you know, like I said, I'm a brush hoarder and I have plenty of brushes. But I did want to pick up a couple of these other brushes. This one is this, um, this is the one that I really wanted to go for, this foundation, the foundation brush. I'm dying to use this. And then I just picked up a couple of these eye brushes. If you can see these. Just two, which I was surprised the line was not that long was um, I went to Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and there I just picked up, um, I didn't want to go crazy when I was there. Uh, I wasn't trying to spend a ton of money. I was just interested. Um, the, the only thing I really wanted to get from there was the clear, uh, clear tar. And this is the one that you're supposed to put on before you put on any of the other um, lip tars because it will moisturize your lips and help it not get cakey and cracky and dry. So I wanted to pick this up, but then I saw this, one of their new ones, um, their matte tars. And this one right here is pink. It's in, it's called pleasure model. And when I swatched this, I was, I was in love you guys. It's so pretty. Let me show you. I have too much stuff in my hands right now, but look at this pink. Like, how pretty is that? I'm, ugh. It's so pretty. And then I wanted to pick up one of their, um, their new cosmetic color pencils. And I picked this one up in Black Dahlia. And that's the color. It's just a really deep berry wine burgundy color. These are very matte they're very dry so i'm gonna see how they work out um i only picked up one because they were kind of dry and i wasn't sure how it was gonna go and i already have like super dry lips as it is this color though i found out after the fact is that what they have about five different colors that they don't suggest you use around your eyes which I probably wouldn't have gotten this color because I was thinking, oh, I could use it on my lips, I can use it on my eyes, I can, you know, but they suggest you not use it around your eyes. So they now have these at um, Sephora if you're interested as well. So that's, those are the only three things I picked up from OCC. The next place that I went to was NYX. 
and they had a huge booth you guys like ginormous booth but I you know I was looking for the lipsticks and the lip glosses but then I thought about it for a while and figured I don't need them I really don't need anything so I went through there thinking like what is it that I want a backup of that I use often and a lot so I picked up a couple more of the um, the NYX concealers and I picked up another one in the yellow because I've been using it like crazy I also picked up it's a light light color so I have beige and I have light and then I picked up this one because I have not seen this before but this one is called glow so I was very interested in trying this one out this concealer in glow I'm not sure if you know actually you know when I was at the booth and I was asking her what the difference between this one called glow like does it have some luminosity does it have some kind of radiance or I mean because it is a little bit on the pinky side it's not you know this is definitely not my color but I figured it can kind of go a little bit under here I, I wasn't sure the girl that was at the NYX counter when I was asking her she looked at me like this like what I, I don't know it's just a concealer um yeah thanks that was awesome you really assisted me awesome so I just picked it up because it, they were all like such a great price and you know I just wanted to try it out I also saw this that I haven't seen before it's the two timer and this is the cold pencil and um, and felt tip liner in one it has the twist up like cold pencil here which is pretty cool and then I'm gonna twist it down on the other side it has the felt tip liner which actually has a really great tip it's not super black it just this seems pretty cool so I wanted to try this out and then I um, I just picked up a, another of the two two sided or two two size um, sharpener because I need another one of those and the last thing I picked up from NYX was the set it don't fret it matte finishing powder and I, that's pretty much all I got from NYX the next place that I went was Sugar Pill. Look at this bag. You guys, this bag is the most adorable thing ever in life. How adorable. And it's like, I have just like little teeny things in here with this big bag. The sticker. How cute is that, right? The, the main thing that I wanted at Sugar Pill was Goldilocks. So I did pick this up. This is, if you're not familiar with Sugar Pill, um, Goldie Lux is one of their pigments and it's gorgeous gold pigment and I've been dying for this. This is the only reason why I went to Sugar Pill was for Goldie Lux. But of course I got, I had to get something else. I fell in love with this color. This is one of their limited edition colors and um, this is their eyeshadows. The rest are just pans. And this is just, this is an exclusive release. And this color is actually, the name is this right here on the back. This right here. That's the name of the color. And it's this red, gorgeous. And actually have worn this already. Oh, look at that color. And I can't even see the name because that's the name right there. The next three eyeshadows that I picked up from Sugar Pill are from their Sparkle Baby line. And the packaging is the baby blue and the baby pink colors. The normal Sugar Pill comes in like the black pan with the black writing. And these Sparkle Babies come in like white. This color is called Candy Crushed. And again, they're the, just the pressed eyeshadows. Look at that. Gosh, I die. Look at that, you guys. Drawn to these sparkle babies. I mean, I really wanted, um, there was the other colors, you know, that I really thought would be really neat and to have, but these ones just, ugh. this next uh, of the pressed eyeshadows called Hotsy Totsy. Oh, 
sorry my swatches are all over but look at that and the final color of the pressed eyeshadows that I picked up this one is called kitten parade and oh my gosh you guys look at how pretty that is it's and look at that's the color the I picked up the four of the pressed shadows and then I got the um, the pigment the Goldilocks look at these colors die I just died right now so now that I went through Friday and Saturday I'm gonna show you what I got on Sunday now Sunday I just um, went to IMATS because one of my friends was going there and so I wanted to meet her I did get a two-day wristband so I went back on Sunday and um, got another bag oh, so in the the front it says IMATS on here and then the back it has their sponsor, the main sponsor of IMATS was Royal and Lang, Nick, Lang, Lang Nickel, which is a brush company, but I'm sure they have other stuff too, just like a lot of the other brushes. But the one thing, <clears throat> the only thing that I actually purchased on Sunday was this complete sparkle kit from Eye Candy. And I believe that this kit was $30, 30 or 40 you received um, the brush, which you could apply the glitter to. And then you received the sh liquid sugar. And then with that, you also received, um, you got to pick out which glitters that you wanted. Um, and there's six of them. And these are the ones, and they had so many glitters. Like this was so difficult to choose. This first color here is called Cherry Bomb, and it's just a red glitter. It's like a perfect red. The next color here is called um, Chicle, or, yeah, Chicle, and it's like a teal glitter. This color here is called Black Bart, and this is just a black glitter. This next one is called Raspberry Blast. And it is a red berry glitter. It looks like the, it's just like a red berry, almost berry colored glitter. This next color that I received or that I purchased and I picked out is called Candy Coin. And it's this really pretty gold glitter. The final color that I picked up is called Chocolate Chip, and this one is my absolute favorite. If you look at it, it's a brown glitter, but it has these red, and I'm trying to see if you can see it. It has like these red sparkles in it. So it's brown with like red glitters. Finally, for my IMATS haul, I was um, able to meet Joy, who works for Whitening Lightning, and she gifted me this kit, which came with, which comes with um, the brow bar to go. And I've actually, I just kind of stuck this in here because it looks like it's new, but I actually started using this. Um, I did post a picture on my Instagram, so follow me on Instagram right there if you want to see pictures. I do post some looks and stuff. The colors are okay, um, but I want to tell you more so than just eyebrows because I actually love the color of my Kelly Baker that I use but these are really good contour colors you guys to contour your like nose because of the topiness of them like they're really good contours but I do like the wax to kind of push down my eyebrows after I've had them done or after after they're after they're already done I use the wax kind of like just to um tame them a little bit more and then I did receive the Super Booster Whitening Pen. Um, and actually the pen is in my bathroom because I'm trying to start using it to see if I like it. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of whitening my teeth. So we'll see. And then um, in the kit was the Nude. And this color is called Icicle, which is, oh, I should have worn this today. But the thing about these whitening lightning lip glosses that are really neat is when you open it, it has a light. I don't know if you see that. Look at that, guys. It has a light. 
And then there's a mirror on here, so you can... Oh, yeah, in the club. Oh, yeah, in the club. Actually, that's pretty good. Right now, the matches. You see? So if you're like, you know, it's dark outside and you want to apply, you have a light and you have a mirror. How convenient. So it was really nice of Joy to... Um, to get these to me so thank you very much whitening lightning for that you guys that was my haul for imats la uh as you can see i did get some stuff i didn't get um you know some of the lines were just ridiculous and i actually was so proud of myself because i was way under budget of what i was going to allow myself to to spend at imats but I think the just the experience of being at IMATS in itself was worth like so much more than any kind of makeup that I could have ever purchased or received. Um, it was amazing. It was exhausting. The whole weekend was just so much fun. Exhausting. We did. I met some amazing girls that are on YouTube that are just the sweetest, and I feel so privileged and happy to have met them. And now that they're friends on my oh it just I just thought the experience of IMATS was like amazing and incredible and great so yeah so that is my haul you guys I hope you enjoyed this thumbs up for hauls which so much I, for watching I love you I appreciate every single one of you and um yeah I just uh, oh and I met the oh, I actually met one of my subscriber friends at IMATS who is so amazing and mwah to you. I'll leave her little name right here. But I was oh she's so sweet and yeah I'm really excited. That was that was like humbling and awesome and I'm there to meet people and she was oh, oh, oh. it was just it was just awesome. I think all of you guys Anyone that subscribes to my channel, it's like you're my friend. Like, you are my subscriber friends. And I would love to meet every one of you and just be friends with you and hang out and, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, I just thank you guys so much for watching my channel and subscribing and liking and thumbs upping. Liking and thumbs upping. And liking and I, mwah, I will be back with another video for you guys. Bye-bye. And... And I just threw it. <laughs> Get up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How many times did I say, oh my gosh, seriously? Ah, glittery. <laughs> just glitter everywhere. Glitter, glitter everywhere. Glitter, glitter. Okay.